can you tell us a little bit more about the box, the lovely box? Is it a shadow box? I don't know what you would call it. I guess that's right. It's, it's, it was a cigar box at one time. Um, we were all invited to do this project, and I had painted the painting that is that the box is made of from seeing the summer palace of the royal family in Denmark. And this beautiful girl was coming down the path in her beautiful fisherman knit sweater on a bike. And I quickly ran, we weren't there long enough to paint it there, so I quickly got a picture of her. But I wish I was there and had set up my easel and painted her. And that's kind of the way the box is designed. Pamela, can you tell us a little bit more about this lovely painting you have out here of the three oranges? Uh, yes, this painting was actually created in my computer with Photoshop. And I did a rough sketch of these oranges and then I manipulated the painting, the rough painting I had done with Photoshop. And it became so much more interesting than what I had really started with. And several people have come in and asked me about it and said they liked it. Some people have been scared when I said it was mainly digital. They go, oh well, never mind. Um, a gentleman actually had that experience. So I don't know, maybe, I mean, there's a lot of visual art that is accepted in the world today. But it's a fun process to see what you can get out of a very simple, it was just basically three oranges on a plain background much more interesting background and texture. I've collected kimonos that are often damaged, but not completely damaged. You can make a whole scarf out of a sleeve. So I started on this project, and it shows different types of Japanese textile, like this one is called shibori, and all these little dots are tie-dyed. And they make huge pieces of this. It takes hours. They sit on their knees and tie these little tiny knots. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And then there's another type of fabric here called sashiko, which is a stitching process that makes pattern on usually indigo. You can do it on any color, but they usually use indigo and white. It's a traditional. <laughs> Yeah.